Well, I want to fix Mars. And George Soros apparently doesn't think that social media companies have done enough to censor free speech. And so he's calling on the EU, EU to regulate social media companies because our voters' minds are being controlled and manipulated. Right, Georgie. Uh, excuse me. We, uh, here in the U.S. at least, we want free speech. We want to be able to freely express ourselves. So you can get, you can go shove off your, you know what, as far as I'm concerned. Clean size and social media firms made them public mass and argued they had led people to vote against globalist causes, including electing President Donald J. Trump in an article from Guardian published Thursday. So let's take a look at that. Here's an article in The Guardian. Uh, this is by George Soros himself. You have to remember, this is a wicked, wicked, wicked man. He's evil embodied. Social media giants have left the U.S. government impotent. Europe must lead the way. The current moment in history is painful one. Open societies are in crisis. In forms of dictators and mafia states, exemplified by Vladimir Putin's Russia, are on the rise in the United States. President Donald Trump would like to establish his own mafia-style state, but cannot because the Constitution and other institutions of vibrant civil society won't allow it. Uh, yeah, excuse me, the, our uh, Constitution is designed to prevent this type of thing from happening. Of course, it doesn't doesn't seem to stop the deep state who has been attacking from Donald Trump since day one. Now, not only is survival of an open society in question, the survival of our entire civilization is at stake. So listen to what he's saying. He's saying we have to eliminate free speech for our own good. The rights of leaders like such as Kim Jong-un, who's an demonic uh, dictator in North Korea, and Donald Trump, who loves freedom in the U.S., have much to do with this. Unbelievable. They equate Donald Trump with this dirtbag. Equates Donald Trump with that monster in North Korea. Both seem willing to risk a nuclear war in order to keep themselves in power. No, George. Uh... Donald Trump is standing up to that monster in North Korea. But the root cause goes even deeper. Mankind's ability to harness the forces of nature, both for constructive and destructive purposes, continues to grow while our abilities to govern ourselves properly fluctuates and is now in a low ebb. <sighs> Yeah, well, there is a problem there, I'll admit. Rise and mon monopolistic behavior of giant American in internet platform companies is contributing mightily to the U.S. government's Im impotence. Uh, translation? He doesn't like freedom. If the government's impotent, I'm uh, perfectly fine with that, because that means I have more freedom. If the government's all-powerful, then we have a problem. These companies have often played an innovative and liberating role. But as Facebook and Google have grown ever more powerful, they have, be have become obstacles to innovation and have caused a variety of problems for of which we are all only now beginning to become aware. Companies earn their profits by exploiting them, their environment, 
mining and oil companies exploit the physical environment. Uh, yeah, wealth comes from the ground, and social media companies exploit the social environment. Notice exploit, exploit, exploit. Unbelievable. This is particularly nefarious because these companies influence how people think and behave without them ever being aware of it. This interferes with the function of democracy and integrity of elections. I'm not going to go long on this. Basically, what old Georgie Porgy here is saying is we have to shut down free speech so we only have one political philosophy, in other words, leftist, out there. This is a wicked, wicked man. You can find the full article here on uh, The Guardian. It's a long article written by this demonic individual himself. I'm saying that in a... When I say demonic, I'm using a metaphor because I'm an agnostic, but... Uh, he basically wants to silence anybody with... Uh, conservative bent. He wants to silence anybody who ha has uh, American-style values. They like the U.S. Constitution and whatnot. He wants to silence us. These social media companies are already doing a tremendous job of doing that, but old Georgie Porgy isn't satisfied with that, apparently. He wants more censorship. Unbelievable. This is an evil, evil man. Make no mistake about it. I'm Artifacts Mars. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.